Hello everyone and welcome to a our tool GUI tutorial that, uh, that was requested by Darkness Ringo and I'm just gonna do it uh, for him and everyone who actually who needs uh, help. So uh, firstly you're gonna need the over tool GUI I'm gonna put the link in the description. And then you're gonna want to have the uh, latest version of Overtool installed as well. So usually you would want to go to this uh, website of odev.wiki uh, where you would download the version from here. But sometimes the version work wo won't work because uh, it isn't updated and uh, you should be able to find uh, uh, the latest version on this uh, face punch thread so, uh, so I'm gonna uh, put that in the description as well so when you uh, when you actually download the the overtool GUI you just uh, it opens up a, a zip file with an with a, just an uh, over tool GUI.exe. So you, you place that in where you have your uh, where you have your um, your over tool installed, right? So I, I put it uh, in and now I can open it and start working with it. So uh, here you put in the uh, the directories for your Overwatch and uh, Overwatch PTR, and uh, before you start exporting, you also need to um, to uh, set the output path as well. So I'm gonna do. So let's let's see first what we're gonna uh, what we're gonna e e export. So. Um, from testing, I know that uh, this voice extracts NPC voices. I don't know why it can't extract he heroes, but uh, it only extracts NPCs. So I'm going to show you how to uh, extract from heroes as well. So we want NPC voices, but let's say that we don't want all of the NPCs. Let's just say that we want one. So I'm going to list the NPCs. And uh, uh, it will list all the NPCs right here. So let's just say that I want uh, the Zomnic, right? Uh, so I'm gonna write uh, here the Zomnic, and then I'm gonna set the install path to music slash Zomnic. And then I can actually start exporting. So um, waiting for it to export, uh, we can already see that it did start to export and it creates a new folder by itself. So here's the Zomnic. It creates a little subdirectory with uh, as well. And from past experience, I know that the the last map is usually where, where the voice lines are. But uh, we can't open these voice lines, so we have to convert them. And the maker of the GUI also took care of that. So we can just find our folder uh, where we can convert this the, the folder that we need for voice lines. It converted them all. You can uh, open up the uh, VLC, VLC media player just put everything in and there's the the zombie omnix okay so but let's say we want to export uh, Winston's voice lines right uh, since this uh, doesn't work from for uh, for whatever reason and I really haven't figured out how to how the for um, how the 
the custom commands uh, work I am gonna um, use uh, over tool from a CMD prompt uh, or command prompt so we have to direct uh, uh, we have to set our current map or directory to the over tool folder so I'm just gonna go to E drive where I have my over tool then I'm gonna go to uh, fresh install fresh install because sometimes over tool needs a fresh install to work actually okay so now we run in our uh, over tool directory we're gonna uh, see that we want to use over tool because it's a program we're gonna type in over tool and then you need to put in your full overwatch directory I have it on D drive program files Uh, actually it's together and then I have it just overwatch okay so then you need uh, your uh, your command that you want to do and because we want to do uh, we want to extract some hero sounds we're gonna use the capital V or the uppercase V and then we're gonna set the full uh, output folder so I'm gonna use the e drive again use the Overwatch, uh, and then music, and then I guess we're gonna do Winston or whatever. Winston. Uh, and then if you want Winston, uh, if you would just uh, press enter right now, it would extract all the hero sounds. But we want Winston, and then we type Winston at the end. Uh, if it's Soldier 76, you need to or something that has a space between you need to put it in brackets because it's Winston we don't need to that, uh, that goes the same for uh, for the file paths if there are some stuff that are uh, that have spaces in between you have to put the the whole thing in brackets it uh, does it doesn't matter if everything is together but it's I guess it's a good practice a good habit so we can just start it and it will uh, uh, extract uh, all the files so we can just uh, we can find where we set it to export we know that it's usually the last folder of the folder where uh, all the sound uh, actually I think it, yeah uh, here it's the second to last because Winston as a hero has a lot of voice lines so we're gonna uh, then we can uh, close the command window oops didn't want to do that uh, and then we're gonna convert it uh, convert the voice lines again mm. There's a lot of folders, just uh, second to last. We're gonna see that everything starts extracting. We can go here, wait for it to close itself, or to show up the other window. Okay, that means that it's finished, as you can see. Then we're gonna just uh, drag the whole. F oh wait. Uh, on the start of is are usually some of the grunts, so let's just go towards the end again. My ultimate is charging. And we can see that their Winston voice, their Winston uh, voice lines. My ultimate is ready. Let's get in there. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that that's gonna be it uh, from my trying uh, from my tries I I was uh, able to export maps and stuff uh, just normally but I think that's gonna wrap it up for today uh, if you have any questions just uh, put them in the this uh, in the comment section I'll, I'll answer it as soon as I can and subscribe if you haven't uh, and I'll see you in the next one